the frost blast sling we have been able to use with much difficulty. This more than doubles uh, the frost uh, elemental damage, which would probably make this usable. So we need a bristleback tusk to do that. Yeah. And can we upgrade armor? Because, oh boy, do we need it. Melee 2, 4, okay, yeah. Look, I'm just gonna get all the armor we can. Go from 0 to hero, hopefully. Uh, 0 to 4, that's gotta be good. And we get concentration region, food and medicine. Heck yeah, let's go. Pouch upgrades. Oh, this, no, this is crafting. There's the upgrades. Resource pouch. Increase the number of berries we can carry. Yes. Very much yes. Hunter's arrow quiver. This is something we need. Urgently. So, raccoons. Okay, good upgrades. Good upgrades. This should be useful. I can test it out on the rest of the bristlebacks. Hey, Chef. Look at that bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Looks a bit gnarly, but uh, I'm not one to say no to bacon. Hey, Milda. Milda. Took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. It felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh. My apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Oh no, Since not the griddle. Crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted. Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. Fair. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More than ale. This guy seems nice. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Oh, Without no. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the <laughs> ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And <laughs> don't let anyone push you around, okay? 
if you say so. Aw, that's so wholesome. Oh, if you get a big look, he makes he makes stew. So he doesn't stew f trouble. Something, something, something. Smart reply. Ouch. And you are locked behind lock and key. Oh, melee pit. We should unlock some melee moves. A lot of things we could do. We should do. Uh, where did Petra go? Hey, lady. Lady with the beard. Am I blind? Oh, there she is. Uh, let's just get this activated. But I don't think we're gonna be doing any of this in uh, in this playthrough unless chat actually like. Chat, unless you ask me to, we're not going to be doing machine strike. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven greeting the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Have you no manners, boy? Right. Ah. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. Let's not let nipples here disturb our time together. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> nipples! God damn it. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But the way I hear it, you've been busy smashing those beasts for scrap. Well, the embassy won't start without them gone. Yeah, well, you're doing chain scrape a favor too. The less bristlebacks there are, the less Olvind can crank it to his advantage. But how could bristlebacks in the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. Shut up, Nichols, Nipples. Put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. 
No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. He's such a bean. So, chat, real talk for a sec. I love this game, but I don't want this to turn into a 300 episode thing. So we're going to try to progress somewhat quickly. But also, this is ultra hard. So some degree of farming items for weapon progression and stuff is something we're going to have to do. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or, or one shiny boy. The Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? Chat, do you remember last time we fought the Enduring? How we were struggling for days on end on hard. This is ultra hard. That... Mm, mm. <laughs> 297 episode struggle bus stream coming up. I mean, you're not wrong, but also... Yeah. Mildef's got a big honking cleaver, just cut a couple of wrists off, and people start making trouble real fast. That's the problem. I don't think he can chop them off. I think he's too... too big of a softy. That's not the kind of nipples that Petra is interested in. I mean, I think you're, I think you're right. And Aloy here is blind as a mule. Mole? It's blind as a mole, right? Moles are blind, they live in darkness. Mules? I don't think mules are blind. I think they need to see. Help me out, chat. Are mules blind? You have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split. Let me know in the chat uh, comes well. <laughs> Three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Am I going full YouTube on you? No, but I, 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 I try to make content for, for both, for everybody. Okay, let's do the challenges. Uh, uh, I guess we need to do the tutorial first. Okay. Do we just need to do all of these? Okay, light attack. Press button. Complete. Oh, you want me to hit them with nine? Easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. 
pretty sure only blind mules are blind. That is tr generally a truth. Like blind things are blind. Yes, children, I'm. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. That was a power attack, not a heavy. Okay, do I just tap? Okay. So there's a difference between holding and tapping. Heavy attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage. But they're slow, so your opponents might counterattack. Uh huh. Okay, so these are power attacks. Power attacks smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable. So pick your moment. Okay. You need to learn block breaker in the skill tree. Really? I had to. I have to use my skill points to to be allowed to do the tutorial. Is this stealth? That's machine. Is this block breaker? No, that's resonator blast. Okay. The question is though, do we really is this what we want to do now? Is this where we want to spend two points? I mean, melee can be strong, but I don't think again it it's good against any of the enemies we're gonna run into just yet. What is this? Silent Strike. Plus twenty-five percent damage. Yes, please. We use that a lot. We are Back to this guy. Side here, Olund. Oh, not not the Olund. Do you want Olund? Some kind of payment, my dear magistrate. You think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. <sighs> Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olvind Freehold, at your service. Stop being so slimy, Olvind. What could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. It's with the work stoppage. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed, I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking <laughs> work, while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. 
Uh huh. Who anointed you? If chain scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Bah! The magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. That is true. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Is that so? You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say chain scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. You love spending an hour of gameplay, just I realized you're missing a vital stat when arguably the best trash in the early game. Yeesh. You don't seem it's to have fine, a high though. opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Ah. Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where so is nobody dropped the opportunity to the, uh, get this whole place for itself in your life? Okay. Forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. And that's why you need that ruby itself in a What are you playing? Atrocious, if you don't mind. Where's the whistle? Zelda? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering in Kingmaker? Lives. Zelda Wrath of the Righteous. And when I'm done, this valley is gonna get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, is that released? I bet he's in the tavern. Cameron is once again saying that there's a faster solution to this problem. I mean, you're not wrong. It might not be politically palatable, though. Not released yet. Oh. Man, chat. There's so many good games coming out. We have Final Fantasy 16. And now we have um, Baldur's Gate 3 is bound to be released soon, right? And there is Horizon Call of the Mountain. I'm still trying to motivate, bu like buying a PSVR just to play Call of Call of the Mountain. <sighs> back from doing work. Welcome Thank back. You for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all the bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. At least he's not demanding we do stuff, he's us offering a reward, so that's nice. August 31st, first, three months until release. I'm feeding back some dialogue again. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll lower the the volume. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. 
only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. One second, chat. Let me check what's going on with my NVIDIA broadcast. It's not... Well, that is, that is maxed out, so I don't I don't really know what I, else I can do here. I I flicked the switch. Let's see what this does. How does blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but. Chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. Chat, about the feedback on, on the dialogue. If you have any suggestions for, like, in-air ear monitors that have good sound and that don't make you all kinds of sweaty let me know in the discord I'm, I'm willing to try those how did you get stuck out here i asked for the posting believe it or not overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the sun king it was an honor is an honor i mean but your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> now I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding barren light instead 